Let's go. All right, so we got our Spider-Man. With our Spider-Man, and I'm gonna move this way first. Our Spider-Man, we're in our push-up position. We're nice and tight. I want the foot to come directly outside the hand without letting this knee fall out to the side. So this foot has to stay flat. This knee stays in, this shin is vertical, this hip is tight, my hands are in here. When we add our rotation, there's my rotation. And comes back down, feet go back, other side. Foot comes all the way outside the hand, boom. Add that rotation. Notice I'm not letting that knee fall to the side. Now if I can't do that, what I do is I go down to my knee, get my leg up here. I don't care how you do it, if you can't, Say your leg only comes to here. Pick it up, bring it up there. Now put this hand down inside. Now all I'm doing is coming through here, add my rotation. Coming through here, adding in my rotation. Notice I'm following my hand with my eyes. My next level up from there before I go to my moving Spider-Man is I just want to come up off this knee. It's a little bit harder when I come off that knee, but I'm getting a deep hip flexor stretch here and I'm getting a nice T-spine rotation at the top. Once I do that, instead of moving the squat to stand, which is our next exercise, you just change sides. Boom, knee goes back down, bring that foot up. Other side, so whether I'm on the knee, which is my level one, or I come off the knee, which makes it a little bit harder for my level two, and I'm reaching under, it's the same exercise, but we wanna get good with that before we progress to Spider-Man. And then once you do that, it'll make those squat to stands a whole lot easier.